Hello friends, in this video, I will create a very simple photo viewer app. If you are a beginner, you can watch this video. This is for only beginners. So let's get started. I want to name it as photo viewer. You can give any other name also. But I want to prefer it like a photo viewer. Then create a hint, uh, here next. And let's choose marshmallow. You can choose any other version. And here is the list of this API version. If you choose lower version, then the support, uh, then this this app will be supported on mass more devices. But if you choose a higher version, then the supporting device will be less then hit the next button and choose one empty activity then next finish and it will take some time to <coughs> build the project so we have to wait for that we can see the building is started project is ready the gradle build has finished now we can start doing our task let's first delete this default text view is basically the hello world now first we have to take one image image button for this you can go here image then image button and drag it to here after that have to just wait for that and you can see the image view is asking us to give some default image and here we can give any default image to that but for this let's do not give any again we have to take uh, we must give any default image so let's give it that gallery uh, let's give it you can see and put all the constraints if you are using relative layout then no need to do this but I'm here constant layout so I have to do that and here you can see one error is there it is not error it is actually warning we have to give some content description attribute to this image so I don't want to give any big thing here just put some string it will the error will then dismiss the error will be dismissed here you put some string here so it is again we have to wait for that if they are but now we have got this thing and set some string issues for that let's say content description content content description yes all right you can put any resource value also but if you want then we can put but if we don't want then we is not actually required so let's decide to put that i think the error now here we have created we have bring this image view now we have to give some id here let's say image image view button right and when the user will user click here then he will be able to select an image from the gallery and after that the image will be viewed will be view will uh, image can be viewed from this image view. so now we have to do the coding 
it is very easy actually so let's get started here first we have to make a variable of intent since we will use the gallery to select image so there will be we have to go from this activity to that activity to the gallery activity so here we will use this intent with this intent we can we can uh, open a new activity from this activity we have this activity we have only one activity in this case but for or let's say an app with more activity to go from one activity to the other that is from one screen to other we can use this intent class and here we will use this intent to go to the gallery activity that is the gallery screen so we are using that and we can instantiate it with this command new intent we are creating a, a object of intent class and here we are storing that object is refer it is the reference variable for intent now with this intent we have to do one thing here that is we have to set the action what type of uh, set action what type of action we want to do with this intent we have to say this thing here so for that we have to say intent intent dot action get content we want to get some content from oh, so we have to get some content for that for the gallery so we have to specify that from in this method set content then we have to do one more thing here dot set type we have to set the type also what type of things we want to bring here so we have to set this also here in this set type method here we set the set get content what type what thing we want to do we have set this in this set action method and in this set type what type of work we want to do we to specify that and here we want an image so we have to write this like that image plus star this star then we have to start we can start the intent start the process so start activity for result we want this intent to, uh, to get some results so we have to use this method start activity for result we are starting this intent for some result that is to get one image so we have to use this start activity for result and here we have to pass this uh, intent so intent this object this is the reference variable of for the intent intent comma uh, and one more thing we have to pass here and that is request code one request code we have to set this is the uh, request code request code and this request code actually is an integer which is created by us it is not a variable which was previously there we have to create it and static in it should be static and final static final in request code the final so it is a integer and we are passing this request code this request code is used to verify whether the whether the work is done for us or nothing i will explain it here and we have to override one or more method here on activity result and here this uh, we are overriding this method for on activity for on activity result if this activity actually if we are creating one activity here we are we are requesting one activity here if this activity if the gallery activity give us the result then we get this result in this method basically here we are getting one request for some data that is for image and we will get this result in this activity and on on activity result this method is 
from app compare activity class actually it is from activity class which is extended by this class and therefore we get this on activity for result basically on activity for result is a method of activity class and here we have to check one condition and in this condition we will require this code actually this will verify whether the request is whether the task is done for this code our our request or for or some for other here we have to check whether this request code this request code that the system get system returns us if this request code is matched with our request code we have sent this request code and if this match and if result code also match with our with result ok this is re request code and this is our request code it is given by the activity that is the gallery activity and it is given by us if these two match and result code is equal to result ok that is it, it returns something to us then we should do some work here yeah. if the if the activity does not uh, return anything that or in other sense if the activity if the gallery activity failed to return something then this result ok will be equal to result cancel in that case we can write here result cancel but we don't want that we want to match these two so that we can get the image therefore we have to write here okay and now here for to receive the image we have to make one uri uri object image uri let's say image uri image uri equal to uh, this data this intent data will contain the result. so from that we can get the image so data dot get data get data is a method of intent class and this is the object or this is a reference variable of intent class or we can say an object so this object is calling this method this will return as the image <coughs> now to view the image to to here set the image we have to make the reference variable for image also so let's do it here so first we have to what was that it was an object it was an image view so we have to create a reference variable or image button yes not it was not image view actually it was image button so we have to reference we have to create a reference variable for image button let's say this is equal to image button then we have to instantiate it here image button equal to find view by id r dot id dot image button and type cut also we have to do that thing also image button we have to this actually find view by id returns an object which will contain that object since find view by id returns a image a view object so we have to type cast into image button and in that image button we have to set the image now here so let's do that also image button dot set image bitmap and it is not actually bitmap it is since it is uri so we have to use this method set image uri and here we have to pass the uri let's pass so we have done all the things all the coding part since it is not required here somehow because they are so anyways let's start the i'm using here one actual device I'm not using the emulator because the emulator is slow so i am not using that you can use your actual device by this app this application 
I am using this Pfizer application. You can also get. You can search it for to get that. It's very easy to connect. You can also do that. Now the app is installing. You can see. Hope it will work. Just you have to wait for that, and it is launching. And you can see is directly giving us the path to choose something and let's choose this image and just click there yes you can see the image is ready here we get the image and there are many things we can do with that image if we want to edit this image there are more methods we have to use all the things but for this tutorial this is enough i think thank you for watching this video